Are you looking to connect your Canon M50 to the Zhiyun Weibull S and you want to know if the image transmitter will work? Well, let me show you how I did it and it can work for you too. This information is simply, simply too good not to share and I am super pleased with the results. I love my cameras, I love my tech and the Weibull S gimbal is perfect. It's a perfect match for the M50 and you know this is an amazing camera already for the price. Pair this with the Weeble S and you've got a killer combination. I make videos with the tech I love and you may have seen my video for finding the right HDMI cable for this setup. I'll link it up here for you. Now I've had questions where you've told me of issues with the USB connection not working so let's fix this for you today. It's really, really easy. Hey, I'm Darren, I'm Creator61 and I post videos on tools, toys, tips and tactics for budget-friendly YouTube check that you may find useful. Today's video is a tip that has allowed me to connect my M50 to the Zhiyun image transmitter connected to my Weeble S. And the best bit is you don't need to buy any additional USB cables. Jun have provided all the cables you need. This is so simple. All you need is the micro USB to micro USB cable. That's cable 002 and it's already included with the gimbal. And the best bit is you get another micro to micro USB cable when you purchase the image transmitter. Perfect. So how does this work with that strange USB socket on the transmitter? That USB socket is a USB SS. USB super speed and it's the kind you may have seen on external hard drives. Jun have included a micro USB to USB SS cable that fits but it didn't work with my M50. I found the solution and I don't know why I tried this. Is just to use the micro to micro USB cable. Too easy. Let me show you how. You only plug in the USB side, not the SS side if that's a thing. The USB plug will stick out a little bit and not look like it's plugged in properly, but I can tell you it is. If you prefer a little additional security, you could always just add a little bit of tape, just to be sure, but in my experience, it stays put securely. Now, if you've seen my other video on finding the right HDMI cable, I found an Atmos Mini HDMI to Micro HDMI cable with a right angle connector on the micro end. As this is a coiled cable, you can run the micro USB cable neatly through the middle of the coils, making the entire setup super neat with everything tucked in out of the way. Just gently feed the USB cable through the coiled HDMI. These HDMI cables are available on AliExpress, Amazon, eBay. Just make sure the right angle is at the same end as the micro HDMI end and that plugs into your M50. Make sure it points backwards, not the full size HDMI end that plugs into the image transmitter. That'd be a mistake. Plug your HDMI and USB cables into the M50 and these two cables then plug into the transmitter on the left hand side. Then with the other USB cable you have, that's cable 002, plug this into the side of the image transmitter with the single socket and then into your Weeble S. I usually wrap the cable around the arm a few times to keep it tidy. Now, in case you're asking, I'm using version 1.96 of the Weeble S firmware, the best version I have to date for my setup. The M50 is on firmware version 1.1.0. Now, you have the ability to transmit your image to your phone. I have an old iPhone 7 Plus. Now, I'm not sure if this works for Android, so if you know, please leave a comment below. And while you're there, maybe hit the like button and subscribe. Those buttons do magic that really helps. Once you're connected, you can make full use of the subject follow capabilities of the transmitter and gimbal. It works fabulously and all on a camera that is not supported. Make sure you set the gimbal to recognize the transmitter and refer to the setup instructions with your transmitter. You won't see an image on your M50 screen if this is working correctly. So you will need your phone and the ZY Play app working. Remember to press the live view button or you won't see the live transmitted image. This is the bit that I always forget. 
Now, you will have unlocked the additional features of your gimbal and transmitter. This also works with the Canon EOS M and the M100 cameras. Now, I'll just leave you with a final thought. And a mighty fine thought it was too. Let me know how you go and I'll see you in the next one. It's been a pleasure making this video for you and I hope you enjoy my tools, toys, tips and tricks to help you make better videos too. Catch you in the next one.